We're gonna start this off with a bang. Oh, what's that? An all new Vortex Defender ST Red Dot. This is all new for 2024. This is gonna be the full size variant of their Defender CCW Red Dot. So Vortex, with this all new Red Dot, they came out with a Delta Point Pro footprint that is well built, built for hard use, built for duty use, and even you can put it on your turkey gun. With all that stuff being said, if you're new here to the channel, please go down there, hit the subscribe button, subscribe to the channel. By subscribing to the channel, watching our videos, you push the algorithms, you help support the 2A community, and most importantly, you're gonna help our channel grow and push future videos. Now, I know starting off the video by simply bashing this red dot on the table. To some of you, that may seem stupid. It may even seem dumb. You're not gonna really understand the point of it. Now, a lot of folks, the reason they look at stuff like that is because they wanna see if the optic can handle abuse. Would I have ever taken my SIG Romeo 1 Pro that I had on this pistol before and done then? Absolutely not. I think it would have absolutely destroyed the sight that I had on this pistol. Now, for some folks, you're probably even worried that when I bash my 320 against the table, it was probably gonna go off all on its own. But newsflash, that doesn't actually happen for most folks, but there are some stories out there. This pistol and this red dot, we're gonna shoot this thing a bunch on top of my 320 Legion here. In addition to that, what you see here on the table, and you likely will not see from the majority of the reviews you're gonna see on YouTube about this red dot, is we have this mounted on our turkey gun. This can be a Franke three and a half inch affinity. I do have Longbeard XR ammunition to shoot through it. So three and a half inch magnums on here will show if this thing can withstand to recoil because if you're unfamiliar with shooting turkey magnums through a auto loading shotgun or a pump shotgun, they recoil a lot. Uh, they kick a lot and in fact, they are absolutely miserable to shoot outside of a hunting environment. So we will actually test that theory. But let's get into some of the specs on the all new Defender ST. Like I said before, the Defender ST is going to be a Delta Point Pro footprint. So therefore, it's gonna fit all your 320s, it's gonna fit basically every single popular pistol on the market outside of ones dedicated for the RMR footprint, it's gonna fit. So shadow systems, you know, like I said, your 320s, um, Staccato has that type of footprint as well if you go for that plate. So it's gonna fit that. In addition to that, you're getting a well-built, hard-use built red dot that can withstand that abuse per like what a Delta Point Pro, although it has great glass, it works really well, they're not, durable okay i know that they've been proven and, you know some places even duty rate them they're not all that durable and you can certainly shatter that glass if you go doing some of the things that i've already done to this red dot technically this red dot here with the aspects you're looking at is going to be a 25,000 hour battery life with that 25,000 hour battery life it is going to have an auto shut off in addition to this pistol having a 25,000 hour battery life, that's gonna be more than what you get on the Romeo 1 Pro, it's more than what you get on the Romeo 2, and it's also more than what you get on the Delta Point Pro. With that being said, I can't say that it's a lot more than like what you're getting on the Romeo X Pro, that's a new red dot, and that's obviously a great offering from SIG. So this one is gonna be a direct competitor, more so to that red dot from them. With that being said, and obviously having a 10 minute auto shut off, it does have shake awake technology. So if this dot shuts off, the minute you pick the pistol up or it senses movement, it's going to activate. What I really like about the pistol is that with the brightness settings or the buttons on the left and right side of the housing itself, they're a lot larger than what you see on the Romeo 1 Pro, the Romeo 2, the Romeo X Pro, and then the Delta Point, which I can't stand because it's actually in front of your dot. So when you're pushing the thing, you have to push it, look at your dot, push it, look at the dot this. You don't have to do that. In fact, when you have a two-handed grip on the pistol, you can actually come up and hit the brightness setting go up on it and then it goes all the way up and it'll flash at the very top and then you can go back down if you need to. So it's easy to do, they're large buttons. However, they're also gonna be recessed in there so that therefore you're not gonna inadvertently bump those buttons and adjust brightness when you don't want to. Now the battery on here, this will be a common found 2032 battery. It does have a door on the top. Therefore, you will not need to remove this red dot to change the battery. That's another great feature behind this dot here itself. In addition to the fact that it has all these, let's say, standard features from Vortex, it has a much better battery life than the Defender CCW, which we have here on the Shadow Systems. I've carried this pistol, or the CR920, the regular one, with the Defender CCW since the day that dot came out. That dot is still bright, it's still working fine. In fact, I'm probably gonna change the battery now because I've reached that, let's say, essentially one year, which I changed all my red dot batteries out. So it's lived up to the battery life it's supposed to have and at a brightness setting, which I want. Getting into the things you get with the Defender ST from Vortex. So you're actually gonna get a Glock MOS plate. So if you're somebody that has a Glock pistol and you really love that MOS system that they have on there, they're gonna give you a plate so that you can mount this dot itself 
on your Glock and it's a steel plate versus the crappy polymer ones you find with the Glock. You're gonna get a bunch of different screw sets. So I'll run through all the different screw sets that you're gonna get with this red dot. I have one set of screws here for Glock MOS, Ruger 5.7, Springfield Hellcat XDM 5.25 OSP. And then you have a screw set for the Canic TP9 SFX, TP9 SC, SIG 320, P10 series from CZ. You have screws here for the 509. Then we have screws for the HK VP9 and Kimber, Aegis and K, uh, K HX Custom. Finally, the last screw set we have here is going to be for your Smith & Wesson 2.0. Um, what I've also found with these screw sets is that there's so many different screws that if you, let's say, want to mount one of these red dots on a pistol that's maybe not listed on here, chances are there's a screw set in here with the thread pitch that's proper so you can mount it on the pistol you made one. Um, they're not listed on here, but again, like I said, you just got to maybe do a little bit of trial and error to get that stuff figured out. So again, like I said, I have this mounted on the 320 AXG Legion. And then our turkey gun here, it actually comes with a Picatinny rail in the box, meaning you're not going to need to get that extra mount in order to mount your red dot on a pick rail if that's something you want to do. And then you see here, I have a pick rail mounted on this Affinity three and a half inch model, and then we have this up here. Um, overall, the deck height on here, I'd say it's a little bit lower than what you're getting from the Delta Point Pro, and even the SIG Romeo One Pro. What I mean by that is when you're looking on through the pistol, is you almost get a co-witness when you're looking through the Defender ST here. Now, I can't say it's like the new Romeo X from SIG. It's not that low. However, the window size on here is considerably larger than what you get on that Romeo X Pro. And in this size category, for durability and how this thing looks, how it's built, I would say that the overall size is probably one of the best in the class for how it's built. Um, our Mars obviously are built really well. They have a small window. That new Romeo X is a fairly small window as well, and this is definitely larger than that. So if you're somebody that likes that Romeo X, and you maybe want something with a larger window that's still durable, has that Delta Point Pro footprint, this thing can certainly fit the bill. Now that we've talked about these red dots, I want to get out on the range. I want to shoot them a bunch. Um, I'll rack the slide off a barricade to test that stuff because you do have a, a knurling or texturing up here on the front of the objective window. To protect that glass, we'll shoot that. We'll shoot three and a half inch magnums here through our shotgun, and we'll see ultimately how this thing performs. Um, I slammed it against the table. Now, I'm not going to take my $1,500 SIG AXG Legion and drop it on the ground. I'm not going to drop it on concrete. By all means, I'm sure somebody else is going to take care of that business for us on YouTube. So therefore, we'll take their word for that, how that works. However, I will rack that slide. I'll hit it against things and see how it actually functions and if it holds zero against all that stuff. But enough talking. Let's get out on the range and see how it performs. We came out here from the studio. As we showed you guys, we had the Vortex Defender mounted up on a pistol, which we'll show. But first, we're gonna show how it performs on our turkey gun here. Again, this is a three and a half inch model Affinity from Franke. Um, turkey choke, all that good stuff on here. Pick rail I mounted from EGW. We'll shoot this thing a bit. I have some just regular bird shot loaded up here for the zero, and then we'll shoot three turkey loads. Uh, they're not fun to shoot, but I will shoot them for you. And then I'll shoot some more bird shot after that. So let's start off with those. Regular old bird shot. For reference, we're at about uh, 20 yards here. I have a head size swinger out here for this shotgun. Uh, with that head size swinger, it's about a what four inch circle. So it's a pretty good overall gauge. And this six MOA dot, is pretty good overall for a turkey. Now three could be better, just kind of personal preference of what you may want. So this is your three and a half inch. These are actually federal grand slams. I am not shooting my Longbeard XRs I normally shoot out of my turkey gun. Uh, reason being is Longbeard XRs are about three times as expensive as these grand slams are, but you get the same overall recoil. So for science. So the dot hasn't moved or anything like that. Everything looks good there so far. That was three, three and a half inch turkey mags. So let's shoot these next bird shot out of here. So those are very light dove loads. They didn't quite cycle this thing all the way. But overall, the red dot didn't move. It held up to that recoil. Um, on average, you're not gonna be shooting a ton of three and a half inch mags if you're somebody that's still bumped up to those. But if you do, it's showing so far that this Defender with the six MOA dot can hold zero. So that's good, let's move into that pistol. 
We're on the range now with the all new Defender ST from Vortex. Uh, this red dot, you know, we didn't cover it in the studio. These things are gonna come in at $329. And at $329, there's significantly less than the Romeo 1 Pro, the Romeo X, the Loose Pole Delta Point Pro, uh, the Romeo 2s, obviously a lot more than this. So, you know, with that Delta Point Pro footprint, this is gonna be one of the most budget friendly Delta Point Pro footprints and coming from a trusted manufacturer. So let's get this thing zeroed. Right now, I'm actually adjusting the windage on here to get this thing zeroed. And unlike a lot of the other red dots on the market, in particular Holosun, which I think they make great red dots for duty pistols and things like that, uh, there's actual positive detents in here. So every click, I can actually actively hear it, let alone feel it. And I'm just using the supply tool, which it looks like in addition to this supply tool, you could use the casing rim of a nine millimeter for it as well. So one thing to note too, um, when we shot the original Defender CCW from Vortex, uh, with the three MOA dot variant, that red dot actually had some flicker in the emitter if you were moving the red dot real fast up and down or real fast left and right. Now this pistol, you know, out here on the range, I can't say that I see that whatsoever with this one. This is the three MOA variant and there is a six MOA which we mounted on that shotgun, which we'll check out. But overall, the, the red dot picture on here is super clear. Uh, if you're familiar with the blue hue you get with the Trigicon products, this has no blue hue like that. In fact, this has crystal clear glass like you would see on the SIG Romeo 1 or even your Loophole Delta Point Pro. This could be an extreme test, but racking the, the pistol optic off the barricade is a good test to see how well it can hold zero or even possibly withstand cracking. Okay, it's obviously very forceful, no cracks in the glass. The dot, the dot is completely shifted. Yeah, the dot's completely shifted, so Yeah, the dot is now way up in the far right of the target. We'll go check the zero. All right, so I have this thing zeroed. Huh. Yeah, I mean, it's, I'll show you guys. So on the target, this is my zeros here with this. I had it zeroed. I was just basically quote unquote mag dumping. I was shooting at this. This is bullet impact. And I shot down here and this is another bullet impact just to see a nice, a nice clean part of the target. So the dot on the, the red dot itself, unfortunately has completely shifted. It's still firm on the pistol. I'll check torque and all that stuff just to confirm that but my zero has completely shifted with the red dot. Um, I, you know, obviously that's one thing I've, I did that stuff with the normal CCW red dot and didn't have any kind of zero shift. I uh, did it here with the full size pistol. You know, this pistol's heavy, but I was just racking off that barricade. I can't say that I'm sitting there doing it any harder than what you would expect from some of the competitors. Now, would I do that with the Delta Point Pro? No, would I do that probably with a Romeo One Pro? No, but they've got the racking edge on here. It's protected and it's supposed to be durable. However, a complete and total loss is zero. So I'll re-zero it and try it again and see if anything changes. All right, uh, unfortunately, you know, was my slide racking off the barricade there, you know, unreasonable or more extreme than what the average person would put it through? Sure. Um, is that necessarily all that extreme if you're looking at testing? A, a red dot for, for duty usage and putting it to abuse. 
I can't say that it is because we've all seen tests for its competitors. Maybe not the Delta Point Pro competitors, but if you're looking at like the RMR footprint, your Holosun and the RMR, you know, they're not doing that. It's just not happening with those red dots. And on top of that, you know, yeah, I hit it against the table in there, it's fine. I zeroed it, it's fine. But then I come out here and I rack it off there, you know, probably about 10 times, you know, hard, of course, probably more extreme than the average person, but it threw off the zero completely. And now I can't even get the red dot re-zeroed. Uh, the beauty though of it is, is that although we had these issues, we're here to show you guys that sometimes things happen. And unfortunately the Defender ST didn't perform how I expected it to as far as for durability. I think as you know, it sits without that test, it'd probably been fine. However, we're gonna have to try out that Vortex warranty and see how they get us taken care of. But we'll follow up with a future review. We'll test this thing again. But until next time, follow along.